Cheers. Okay, I clipped it to the dress instead of the flimsy cardigan. <laughs> Sons of <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Providence, this business that you created. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Um, I actually started in political campaigns. A lot of people know that, but a lot of people don't. In the 90s, ran a lot of political campaigns, managed them, consulted on them county supervisors, to city council, to congress, to even the governor's race for a hot minute. But we did that, I did that for years and then started segueing into California ballot measure campaigns and propositions and we've done eight successful ballot measure campaigns in California. And then it segued into business and working for business and we do marketing, all of that in the public relations space. My favorite part of it is advocacy. That's my place where I really enjoy this business is advocating and making sure a business or an organization or a project is successful. So what brought about the name of Providence? It was 2003 or four, right in there. It just came to me. The kind of work we were doing, often challenging, sometimes big hot conflict, and it seemed like a good idea to have divine guidance or care, which is what Providence essentially means. It seemed like we could use a lot of that so that we could be successful. <laughs> I'll take any it's divine still. guidance I can, can get, but a little divine guidance never hurt, so providence. Should we tell people that, let people in on our secret that we're related? <laughs> I don't know. I have so many memories. Child labor Child laws labor. notwithstanding. Child labor. What are you really trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> mom! Yeah. Mom slash boss. It's true. It's all true. But I started working for her as a little kid. How old was I? Like, you I were was walking. You were totally walking. Envelope. I remember you working from home on the family room floor doing envelopes <laughs> and putting Mm -hmm. all kinds of things together for various candidates. Now I, almost every day I walk into this building and I'm still in awe. I'm just still shocked. I'm still super grateful. I'm still so proud of you all the time. Thanks, hon. <laughs> it is really very cool. We've That's been true. really blessed. A lot of hard work. Be willing to to not quit. I try to teach that and share that with our employees now. I want them to be tough and capable and confident and accomplished, and that's gonna take you far. It's 2020. Mm -hmm. What are your plans for 2020? What is in store for you, and what's in store for this firm in 2020? Mm -hmm. This is an exciting year for us. We are growing our business in California to cover the entire Central Valley of, of our state, and we're opening an office in Fresno. What? Fresno. Yes. What? Which, for those who don't know, is a couple hours north of us, but it's the other major media market in um, the Central Valley. Cheers to 2020. Oh, cheers. Cheers to you. Thanks, Thanks for telling your story. Thanks, Finally. babe. And cheers to Providence. Cheers. Cheers.